Well, uh, Peter Sumich, can you tell us the uh, change for this week's game against Hawthorne? Oh, look, uh, at this stage it's Lockie Neal in. Uh, he's been very good the last uh, two or three weeks. And unfortunately for us, Fremantle and, and the supporters, uh, Matthew Pavic out. Uh, you've gone a small for a tall. What's the thinking there? Oh, look, we just think that um, you know we, we'll probably have to go small up forward and we'll try something different. But uh, that's the way we're thinking. And, and look, we've got three tall backs, and we know McFarlane can go forward as well as Zach Dawson, who's done that once or twice. And of course, John O has been a forward uh, you know, in the past four or five years. And how much confidence do you take out of uh, the game last year against North Melbourne when Pat didn't play, but you still wrapped up a big score? Yeah, well, look, that, that's the way it's going to be, and we we've got to make sure that not that we move on, but we've got to help Matthew. He's he's given great service and, and played in his prime and given great service. Now he's at the end of his career in a sense, so we've got to help him out, get through, and uh, we've got to play some good footy without him. And then when he comes back, play some good footy with him, but make sure we're taking some pressure off him. And uh, how good is it to have uh, Luke McFarlane available, whether that, that is as a forward or to play it? Down back. Oh look, um, I've got no doubt if he played last week uh, the full game we would have been a very good chance to win that so um, unfortunately he got knocked out but uh, yeah look he's, he looks good and uh, hopefully he can uh, do well tomorrow. Thanks Peter. Thank you.